Hello everyone. Today I'd like to do a quick video about bows and prostrations uh, in the Orthodox Church. We use our bodies in the way of prostrating before the Lord. And so I like to go over why we do this and how we do this. So we oftentimes are, you'll see in an Orthodox Church as you come in, that people will prostrate themselves to the floor. That is that they will uh, go down and, and get on their hands and knees, and then they'll put their forehead, touch their forehead to the ground. Uh, this is a, a, a sign of, uh, of humility and repentance uh, before God, and also a sign of symbolically that we are to be rise up uh, from our fallen state as we get back up off of the ground. And so we do this at different appointed times during the liturgy. If you look at the link below or in the description box, uh, you'll see a outline of various times that is appropriate to do uh, such a, uh, a prostration. And also, we have what we call a bow, uh, our uh, metania, where we bow at the waist and, and touch the floor uh, with our fingers. Uh, this too is a, uh, a sign of repentance, the humility that we have before God. And so we do these uh, oftentimes at times when it's not appointed to do a prostration, such as uh, on a Sunday. So how do we do these? So let's first and foremost look at a prostration. I've seen uh, people do these in various ways. I have children who who sometimes are get a little bit uh, find it a little bit difficult to properly prostrate. Uh, also, uh, I've seen adults who do it uh, strangely. Uh, perhaps they don't know, or perhaps they just are not physically able. But uh, the proper way of doing it would be to first make the sign of the cross. And then you're going to bend over, you're going to put your hands upon the ground first, and then your knees, and then you're going to put your forehead down to the ground. And as you come up, you're going to kind of lift your rear up and your knees off the ground and push yourself with your hands until you're in, back into a standing position. Some people might find it easier to put their knees on the ground first if they don't have the upper body strength. But what happens oftentimes is you can get stumble, especially if, you, if you're a woman with a, a long dress or skirt on or if you're clergy with a cassock or riyas on. Uh, oftentimes we end up stepping upon these garments. So I, I recommend that you try to, first and foremost, uh, when you're getting back up, to put your rear up and get your knees off and push yourself up to a stand. Now for a bow or a matanya, we again start by making the sign of the cross over ourselves. And we bow at the waist, extending our right hand down, and then brushing the ground with the tips of our fingers, before again standing upright. Again, this is showing sign of reverence and humility uh, before the Lord. And this is Again, much easier than a full prostration for those that have difficulty uh, getting down to the ground or and more, more commonly getting up off the ground. Either way, uh, these are appointed to do throughout the services um, and we should be taking advantage of these in our own personal prayer rules at home, connecting our mind, body, and uh, spirit uh, as we worship the Lord. If you have not done so already, brothers and sisters, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, you'll receive alerts when new videos come out. May God bless each and every one of you.